Alrighty, y'all. I am getting Grandma Gwen, or my mother, her birthday dinner already. You may have already seen the film where she shot a turkey and a deer in Wyoming with me. That's what we're having tonight. I've got her turkey down in the pressure cooker. I'm cooking it right down so I can pull it. And then I'm going to make it into a pot pie. She absolutely loves a, a pot pie. So staying with that theme, I'm going to go that route. And then I'm going to make mini meatloaf muffins, is what we call them in our house, um, out of her whitetail deer grind. So it's real simple. I'll show you all the steps. I may be a little different than the rest of the world, but I don't care for sharp onion taste. But I love a grilled onion. So I've got three full white onions here, and I'm going to cook them down so they're nice and sweet. Just a little butter and olive oil in here, and I'm just going to cook, cook, cook them. I'm also going to make a maripal, right? So I have carrots, celery. Here's my onion. A little different take on that. I've got some fresh thyme, some cream, some chicken stock. I've kind of got it all. This is just where we're at right now. Figured I'd get a little footage as we start to assemble. Got the whole family coming over for a little wild protein tonight that mom harvested. That, that is what onions are supposed to look like. Probably making so many people so mad right now. You just wrecked so many onions. All right, all right, all right. I typically start out the video strong, and then I get focused on something else, making dinner, whatever, and I forget to record certain pieces. That's what developed the voiceover. So, you get to hear me talk for the next however many minutes. In our house, there are no rules with regards to cooking. If you want potatoes in your wild turkey pot pie, then so be it, that's your prerogative. So I've diced up a yellow potato or two, and I'm gonna get them soft in a pan with a little olive oil, get them cooked down. I'm also gonna add some butternut squash in this. I want to make a turkey pot pie that I can stand a fork up in. Extremely hearty, extremely rich. That's what I'm going for here. Next, I'm going to make a roux. A little butter, a little flour. Be careful not to burn it. Then I'm going to add my carrots, my celery, my potatoes, my onions, some chicken stock, and I'm gonna bring it all up to a simmer or a boil and I'm just gonna let all that stuff cook, cook, cook and come together. As all my ingredients are falling in love in the pot, I've added some Ortega chili, some thyme, salt, pepper, whatever flavor you like, dump it in there. It's a pot pie, which is code for catch all. Next, I'm gonna shred up the turkey. I'm gonna make sure I've got nothing but nice, clean, soft, pulled turkey breast meat to go in this pie. I just take two forks, separate it good, and then right down in the pot, give it a big stir, and then put a full pint of cream right on top, and let that thing cook down and simmer and just get nice and thick, ready to put in your pie tin. Ah, that was the picture you were looking for. Now who's hungry? Fist bump. So we've taken some Pillsbury pie crust pre-made from the grocery store and we just lined one 13 by nine pan with it the best we could. We're gonna fill that one and then we're gonna cover it. And then we're gonna take a regular pie tin and just put the mix in the tin and cover the top to give it the pie effect. Something to remember, we learned a hard lesson on when you cook this, that pie crust and everything in there is gonna swell up like a poison pig and it's gonna grow. I overfilled both of these and we had a uh, smoke alarm party temporarily before our meal. So read the instructions on the box and just use your cook times and everything just for the pie crust right on the side of the box. Then pull them things out, give them a minute to cool 
and pray that everybody's got an appetite because this is one seriously hearty meal. Truth be told, I liked the pot pie that just had the crust on the top better than the one that had the crust on the bottom and top. Go figure. Up in the right hand corner are those meatloaf muffins that I talked about. My mother shot that white tail. We will feature that recipe in the next film. But the night is based around her and unveiling the film and the hunt. Just going to be a real special night for us. It's important for me, for people to understand, when you see photos of people smiling over dead animals, that's just the beginning of the story. Dead animals equal healthy, nourished people. Death equals life. As a good sportsman, speaking to the people who don't approve of hunting, when you see this, we see this. When you see this, we see this. Let's give thanks and close in prayer. Lord, thank you for the enjoyment and the reward that comes with hunting our own food. In your name we pray, amen. What did you think, Grandma? What did I think about the whole dinner? Absolutely fantastic. Best news I've heard all day. Thank you very much. As always, thank you for watching.